I'm about to show you a new feature that's just come to Pipedrive that we've been waiting for for the last couple of years now. It's going to drastically improve how we build and maintain automation workflows going forwards. No mucking around today, let's get straight into this video. So about two weeks ago, I got this message that got us all excited. Uh, this was posted by Warwick, our automation expert in our Asana account. He said, it's finally happening. We're getting paths in pipe drive automation. So what this now means is you can set conditions and you can branch your automations into different paths and perform different actions if conditions are or are not met. And as you can see down here, we had a bunch of uh, us responding. We all got very excited and agreed. We need to do a video on this because we've been waiting for this feature for a while. Now, if you've never used automation in Pipedrive before, I would actually recommend you watch our getting started video first, where we explain how to create and use automation inside Pipedrive. And then you'll understand why we're so excited about this new feature. Now, prior to the release of this new feature, if I wanted to create an automation, I can put conditions in my automation like this, where I can stop an automation from running if certain criteria are not met. So I can say in this case, when one of my deals is updated and the status has changed to one, so I've won the deal, and if it's in the Asana subscriptions pipeline, create this activity. However, if I then want to have a, a different activity be created for a different pipeline, I would have to set up an entirely new workflow automation. And this just means I'm using multiple automations and maintaining and updating my workflows is that little bit more cumbersome because they're all kind of spread out. Now, with the release of the new if else condition, which you can now use in your automation builder, this is still in beta, it's rolling out now as we speak, so you'll be noticing this in your account very soon. I can create automations like this. So for example, just like before, when my deal is updated, that's my trigger. If the deal status has changed to one and the pipeline is the Asana subscriptions pipeline, we follow this branch. So if those conditions are met, this activity gets created. Great. But instead of having to set up an entirely new automation, I can say, okay, if those conditions are not met, check these other conditions instead. And actually I've done a branch within a branch here. So I've said, if the deal has been won and the pipeline is the pipe drive subscriptions pipeline, so same thing, winning a deal just on a different pipeline. Now, if those conditions are met, we can create a different activity. We can perform other actions like sending emails or whatever I need to do. Now, what this means for you is you can build more powerful automations going forwards. Now, you don't need to create multiple automation workflows to automate one process. And because there is a limit as to how many automations you can create in your account based on the subscription that you have, this is gonna allow you to create automations more efficiently going forwards. Now, in the short amount of time that we've had access to this new feature, we've already updated some of our own workflows. This is actually one of our workflows at Minico. This is not a hypothetical example. This is one of our actual automations. So we have an automation where when a deal has been won, so the status has changed to one, and it's on our Pipedrive subscriptions pipeline, so we've sold somebody a new Pipedrive license, uh, those conditions are mandatory. But then we have an if else condition. So if it's a new subscription, we go down this path on the left first. We update the label on the organization. We create one, two, three different activities here for that to, to set up that new subscription. We then have another branch where if it's a monthly subscription, we update the organization billing term field, one of our custom fields. If not, if it's annual, we update the organization field to annual. So we've got kind of conditions within conditions happening there. If I back out all the way to the start, if it's not a new subscription, we then check, is it an update to an existing subscription? So if that condition is met, we perform these different actions or activities. And finally, if it's not an update, we then check, okay, is it a renewal? And if those conditions are met, we then check if the billing term is annual, we then perform this particular activity. So this process that we've automated here used to require three or four different automation workflows to automate all the different scenarios that we could have. 
Now, using if-else conditions, we can consolidate those four automations into one, and it's much easier to visualize and see what happens based on the type of deal that we are winning. Now, if you are an automation geek like me, you are going to love this new feature. Leave me any questions you have in the comments down below. But if you're not an automation geek, if you're watching this just thinking, Paul, I don't even know where to get started, then click the link in the description below to book an introductory call with our team. We'd love to learn more about your sales process and see how we can help you to automate more of your process, your activities, your follow-up so that you can close more deals. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Quick update. Pipedrive have just revamped all of their pricing. They've renamed and repackaged the different plans that you can buy. There have been some feature shuffle arounds and some slight pricing changes. I'm gonna do a quick video explaining the changes and the new pricing, which I will release next week. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell to be notified when that video comes out. See you then.